Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energy, and Happy New Year! Which I know I am late in saying, but I didn't want to review just any figure. Uh, I didn't want to start the new year reviewing just any old figure. I wanted something special. And upon some thought, I finally decided what to review. And it's going to be a figure that is part of the 2019, I guess, early set, which is going to be this figure, this big boy, the Transformers, uh, War for Cybertron Siege Leader Class Ultra Magnus, and he is a long one. And here he is in his, uh, in, uh, in his truck and trailer mode, or at least the Cybertronian truck and trailer mode, because the um, the theme of this series, which I haven't looked up the story or anything, but from what I've seen from the box art and from just the general aesthetic here, is that the figures are the Transformers in this set. Well, War for Cybertron Siege, which I'm just going to shorten to Transformer Siege from now on to not only simplify it, but to also not confuse it with the video game War for Cybertron. But yeah, it seems like the theme that they're going now is just the Transformers during what I'm assuming are their final moments on like of the of the what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like their final moments on Cybertron, like the final battles there. And then eventually they crash on Earth because in a lot of the art. Again, I haven't looked up the story behind it, but that's just what I'm assuming that this is the final battles for Cybertron and then they have, you know, they eventually lose and then they head on to Earth on the Ark. That's just what I'm assuming. So here is Ultra Magnus in his Cybertronian a truck and trailer, which is very nicely designed and decked out in weapons, which is really neat. Very very nice design. Very cool. And it feels like that the aesthetic they're going for is um how I sort of describe it as sort of the inverse of, funny enough, the War for Cybertron video games, where in the games it felt like the designs were sort of a, how I always saw it as a 60-40 split between G1 design and movie design, where the video games had a 60, a sort of 60% movie design inspiration and a 40% G1 because you can sort of tell that they look like their G1 counterparts, but they looked different. They look, but they looked a lot closer to a sort of movie design, with some exceptions. But yeah, this seems like to be the inverse. Especially when I transform into robot mode, it seems like the 60% this time is G1, with then some bits, like some uh, like some uh, extra detail. I mean, a lot of details that is uh, sort of seen in the. Um, uh, movie line in the movie figures in the or in this case in the studio series figures So to speak in that style Now uh, ultra Magnus here can roll on Two three on all five pairs of his wheels He can roll and he rolls very well and All of his weapons here are removable. You have this thing this uh, main blaster Which I think it's called the stethoscopic ray or something which is a weird name for a blaster, but this is his sort of main silver blaster. I'll put this off to the side. You have Ultra Magnus's uh, sort of shoulder missiles. And these other bigger blasters that are on the side. Which you can sort of fold down as a sort of way of storage. Which is an option. And here they are. And these are all very nicely detailed. Another thing that they're going for with this line is that... um. They're putting a lot more emphasis on the molding, on details, and, um, what's the word, and no stickers, and paint, that's right, and paint. This figure is all details, and unless that's a sticker, no, that's painted. There are no stickers on this figure, so gone are the stickers from the, um, Titans Return and Power of the Primes, uh, sort of era of toys. No more stickers. Instead, what they're doing is just, you know, focusing on paint and molding, which is what they should have done to begin with. Which is funny, they've done it before. I remember in Thrilling 30, they barely had stickers. 
if you know they had any. So yeah, now Ultra Magnus here can separate from his um he comes sort of in two parts. You have the trailer and the cab, and the cab uh, can't separate. All I gotta do is um was I think you lift up here? No, you pop this out a little. Separate down here. It might be a it might be a longer review. And then you pop down here on this side, and then you just pull from the bottom. So here is the trailer of Ultra Magnus, which and this is Ultra Magnus. Now what they've done here is something that I really like, and it's a very, very cool homage to the original G1 figure because I don't think Ultra Magnus has been done like this since the 1986 figure, where this cab is Ultra Magnus. And then when I transform him, you'll see, and this is the cab itself. As you can see, he can't, he, like this fist and, and feet are visible. So it's not like the greatest cab. But when it's connected to this, it hides all of these other bits, so it's it's pretty it's pretty good when it's together. It's not meant to be seen by itself. However, this here, the trailer can actually be taken apart. So this so I guess one negative of this figure is that there is a lot of parts forming, but that's actually part of the gimmick of um, the overall gimmick of the uh, siege line is that there's a lot more emphasis on um, sort of upgrading other characters with other characters. There's like parts forming and then you put them onto other characters. It's interesting. So this piece here can be taken apart to form what used to be called the Magnus Armor. Because back in the 80s, back in the day, with the, with the first um, 1986 Ultra Magnus figure, Ultra Magnus was basically a white Optimus Prime who would combine with his trailer to form into the, you know, the... The iconic look and design of Ultra Magnus that everyone knows that was sort of stayed with him. Uh, this sort of separate version of uh, the White Optimus Ultra Magnus, I don't think was ever seen in the original show. It wasn't. And I think I don't think it was. I, think, I don't think it was ever seen. You only saw him when he was, you know, combined together with his Magnus armor. And I think the White Ultra Magnus, I think, was seen in a comic once, where you see him sort of busting out of the Magnus armor. But that's neither here nor there. I'll talk more. I'll, well, no, there's nothing else to say. I just that's the only time I think I've ever seen it. So yeah, that's what this does. This turns into a white, into basically a white Optimus, and this combines into the the Magnus armor. So I'm gonna put the trailer off to the side and just look at a uh, Ultra Magnus. And again, rolls well at visible hands, but again, it's supposed to if you combine it with the trailer, it covers it up. So let's get on with the transformation. So first thing. Roll this down, separate the feet, pull out the heels, and there's his legs. Now for this part, you rotate this, you, well, what you could do is that you go in here, pull this out, then you rotate, then you carefully, if you want, you can lift the arms for clearance, carefully rotate, and then, before you push, then you're supposed to push this entire thing back, but before you do that, go in here, pull this forward, and flip up his head, and then put it back. And you put it back. And then you fold forward and click his arms into place. Bring down his arms. And then, and then what the instructions say, is that you push back and then you leave this blue part here on what is essentially his butt. But I don't like how that looks. I don't like him with with basically a big blue butt. So what I do is that I lift this up like so, and then you push it back in and you push it in. You line it up and you push it back. And there you go. That way he just has a blue backpack instead, which I think is a lot more, I think that's aesthetically better and more aesthetically pleasing then the blue butt and then the hands you just fold forward and here we have Ultra Magnus what Ultra Magnus originally was they just a he was a repaint he was a white repaint of Optimus that would combine with this trailer to get the armor and this looks really nice and an even nicer bit of trivia is that this Ultra Magnus is its own mold 
Because you see, in the Siege uh, toy line, there is a Voyager Optimus, and this is what this is. This is a white Voyager Optimus. However, this is a unique mold. This is not a repaint of the Voyager Optimus. It's not. It's a completely separate figure, which is very nice. Very nice. That means if you can get if you get that Voyager Optimus, it's not going to be the same exact figure as this. Cool. Very nice bit of detail. Although I love this head sculpt. Very nice. This is a very this by itself is a very nice figure. But then it comes with all the accessories, which I'll add on to him. So yeah, uh, it's articulation, head is on a ball joint, arms can go in and out, all around, where there is waist, legs can go in, out, forward, back on a ratchet, there is a slight swivel here at the thigh, bend at the knee, and an ankle pivot. So, he can get very poseable, oh, not to mention he has wrist articulation, very nice. And I think normally what I see in this mode, he usually just has this weapon. You just sort of give him this gun, the stethoscopic ray or something, and then just bust out the, the poses. Or if you really want to, you can sort of equip him with all of the other stuff. Give him this sort of second gun here, which is... Did you can put it from the bottom. No, right there. So if you want, you can peg in and give him his weapons. Which doesn't look that great, but it's an option. So put him off to the side. Okay. So that's it. Now, there's nothing else to really say about this figure, except that he is basically a Voyager class figure. He is. For size comparison, I'm going to bring in my buddy... Ratchet, and as you can see, Voyager class, a standard-ish deluxe class with this quarter. So yeah, he's just a Voyager, although I think he's a bit on the smaller side. I don't know why I'm getting that, that kind of a vibe. It, feel, it feels like some of these figures are, have shrunk in this line, but that might just be me. That might just be my imagination, but yeah, Voyager class figure. So... Let's get him ready. Let's get this guy ready to be turned to to accept the Magnus armor, I guess. And I guess the biggest thing you do, you pop this out, and then you pull. Well, you push it forward down here. Push forward the cab, chest, and then you pull it forward. That way, you then go pop this forward, fold down. Fold back the head, you basically store away the head, and you connect it back. And then this piece, you do have to lower it down, and then you push it back. Now, and then fold up the heels, and now this is ready to take on the uh, Magnus armor, which I'll put um, well, this, Mag this Ultra Magnus, or I guess Ultra, put him off to the side. And then start working on this. Now to separate this, it's not too bad. You first gotta wiggle out. Come on, start wiggling. Separate here, come on. Come on, there we go. Separate that out and carefully separate out. Now for this part, come back here. Well, first, come in here, and you just whoop, you pop that out, and then how this was supposed to go is that you pull it out, and then you come here, and you separate, and then you kind of fold this like the, so if these look familiar, these are his uh, shoulders, which are separate pieces, and you come here, separate this, separate this, we have this. But first, let's set up these uh, these pieces, which are the legs, which are his uh, Magnus legs. So then you, what's this? It was like, fold that. Then you, no, 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 no. What's this? Ah, like so. In there, and then you fold back, and then it'll peg in here. So we have one leg. There's one leg. Same thing here, fold. Fold in, around, and then 
peg in there. And then we have the other leg. Legs, shoulder, knees and toes. Uh, now for this, it's pretty simple. You first peg these, pull out, pull out. Those are ready, more or less. And then for this piece, as you can see, this is the, you know, well-known, iconic Ultra Magnus head. Very nice. You fold this piece in, click it, click it to place, fold this up, it'll have like a soft peg in there, and then this is ready. So then, all of this is the armor. Now I'm gonna try and see if I can put all of this in, I'll try and see if I, can, if I make this fit, because usually leader classes I can't review here. However, this is a fairly small leader class, mainly because it's just a Voyager with stuff on it. So, let's get this ready. First, let's start with the legs. You basically just slide them in. Slide them in like so. You go and just force it in until you get like a soft peg. Same thing here. Just carefully peg it in. Just peg it in. And there, and I don't think I'm gonna get them in camera, and frame. Well, might as well just keep going. For this one, this is another complaint. This is supposed to clip into here. You just push it in, and that's it. And to pull it out, you just carefully un... You basically have to force it out from... I have no idea if there's like a better way of pulling this on and off. Even in the instructions, is to pull out, so just... Peg it in there, fold this down, and then this pegs here. There's like clips here that pegs into those ports, so just peg them in. And now he's almost ready. What's left are his shoulders. And the reason why I say leave this open a little bit, so that when you slide this in, it doesn't... It's the right... Yeah, it is. You just adjust it, push it all the way back. And then you peg this in so that this folds into this. It's supposed to, the idea is that this pegs into here. I figured this would be a long video. More or less, that, that's how it's supposed to go. Then same thing on this side. And even though I'm not, a, I'm not fond of parts forming, this is pretty fun after you doing it. After you do it a couple times, it's actually pretty fun. Like it's neat, it's not too problematic. Think, think they're right. And for the easiest one, the arms you just fold up. And also you have to make sure that this blue bit is facing down. So this is the part that, wait, no, no, that's like this. There we go. The blue part has to be facing out. So then you just peg that in, fold up. There's one arm with this sort of scuff part. Oh, and this is something I didn't sort of uh, show off, but another thing that they're doing with the whole siege line is with the paint, they're doing this sort of uh, a battle damage thing. If you look at him across his uh, body, you see all these scuff marks. Now, on I think on other figures, I've noticed it's a lot more noticeable, but on Ultra Magnus here, they just made him have a bunch of these scuff marks, which uh, represents like uh, battle damage. So let me pop this open, and then this pegs into his arm there. So put it in, and there is Ultra Magnus with the Magnus armor, and it is super impressive. But wait, we're not done yet. We have to put all of these. Uh, we have to put all of these uh, accessories on them. So to do that, uh, outside of just doing whatever you want, the official way of doing it, and the way that I like to do it, you take these blasters, peg them on the side like so. He can also hold them in his hands, obviously, but I like having them here. And then if you want, you can flip them up, which looks really cool. Very Power ranger -y, in my opinion. You take his blaster, his stethoscopic thing. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's like stethoscopic is the first word. You put his iconic shoulder missiles on top of his stacks, his shoulder stacks. Make sure you peg that into place. And here we have... Ultra Magnus, fully loaded, and this is impressive. Very, very well done. 
And I love that it's the white Optimus Ultra Magnus that powers, that, you know, he wears his Magnus armor and then it's all that stuff. That is really cool because um, I looked it up. Oh, and one other little detail to finish the look. This little piece you fold forward. Turn around, fold back up. And there's the belt to finish the look. Forgot about that. It's a small detail just to sort of add a little more blue to the, um, the Ultra Magnus mode. Very, very cool. Uh, articulation wise, nothing's changed except now with his, he's now bulkier, so it's less, but it's the same amount. Uh, ball joint at the head, forward, uh, let's see, in, out, all around, swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow, which I think I forgot to mention in the Ultra Magnus mode. Oops, and his uh, white optimus, his cab mode. Uh, swivel at the wrist, the weapons all pretty much swivel on their own. He still has his waist. In, out, forward, back on a ratchet, bend at the knee, little swivel there, and even these new feet do have an ankle pivot. So, he has the same amount of articulation, however, it is a little bit hindered because he's bulkier now. As you can see, he's quite bulky, but it sort of works out. Yes, he does have the, the blue butt this time, but thankfully, to, thanks to this red part, it doesn't look too bad. He's just bulky all around, which is nice. It's indicative of like the original figure and character. He's a big guy. He's a big boy. So yeah. yeah this is Ultra Magnus and he's great. He's great. The, the biggest reason why I ended up getting him is because unlike all previous Ultra Magnuses, they bought they, the, this one, they did the whole white, white Ultra Magnus cab, basically white Optimus Ultra Magnus. He gets armored up into this one, which is what he's. This is this, which is what the original figure was. It was just a repaint of. It was a white repaint of an old of an Optimus that would combine to his trailer to turn into this thing, which is great. It's Ultra Magnus and pretty good. And as you can see, since I'm able to actually have him in frame, and since most leaders I can't put him here, he is relative. He is quite smaller than a standard leader class, or at least of leader classes that we've been getting lately. And I think the, the reason for that is because it's a Voyager with a bunch of accessories. It is impressive. It does look really nice. I love the level of details. However, I am a tiny bit annoyed that it's, that it's smaller. If anything, this is more of a... Of the, I guess, retired class size of Ultra Class. Anybody remember that? But yeah, Ultra Class was an old class size, which was um, bigger than a Voyager, but still smaller than a Leader. That's what this reminds me of, and that's honestly what I think this is. If anything, they only call this leader class because ultra class doesn't exist, and I think they didn't want to make a bigger figure. And in terms of uh, size, here is like another size comparison. Here's a uh, ratchet. As you can see, he is significantly bigger with the uh, Magnus armor on. But if I brought in like another leader, which I don't have on me right now, which I should have done, but. He is significantly smaller on just the fact alone that I'm able to more or less get him almost in frame in this, in my regular review area. And I didn't have to go to, you know, I didn't have to go review in my alternate one, which is where I do my leaders or, you know, bigger figures. But yeah, overall, it's a great figure. The only, like, honestly, the few complaints that I have are very minimal and they're and I think the only major one is that this back piece when you're connecting sort of this part from the back is just to clip it in but whenever I take it off it feels like he's gonna break and I don't like that I don't like that at all but yeah there's nothing I can really do about it that seems to be the only way to to put it on and off so I guess be careful when doing that, because if because if I guess just be careful, because that that feels like that's a piece that might break easily. So just be aware. Um, and that's it. I guess the only other tiny thing, the only other complaint I have is that in the cab mode of uh, in the cab mode by itself, you see the hands and feet. But that's a minor thing, because when you have it combined with the trailer, you don't see it. And that's it. Just. I have nothing but good things. He's a great, awesome figure. Oh, and I am, and I am a bit annoyed that they shrunk. That he is smaller than the previous leader classes. However, he's made up. It's made up, the size difference is made up with all of the accessories. Like you have five weapons, and the armor itself is removable to get you know the white Optimus. 
which again is something that hasn't been done with Ultra Magnus since the 86 toy, just the 86 toy, excuse me, 86 toy and that one comic appearance that I'm aware of. So yeah, overall, awesome figure. He's just great. It's just this, I have nothing else. The detail, ever, it, it's great. So yeah, this has been uh, my review of the Transformers, War for Cybertron, Siege, a leader class Ultra Magnus. This is Composite Energy, signing off. Peace out.